All right, so this day is going to be a good test for my GoPro GoPro battery. There's a raven. And uh, uh, I got something special for you guys today. Um, and uh, it's going to be something a little different. Okay, I'll grab him by the paw. We'll try this again. Uh, here this is... Uh, sorry, warning graphic. There's a bunch of otter carcasses here. And it's about to be another fresh one to, today. The idea is get my trap out. Get Mr. Stinky in here. There we go. He smells really bad. And uh, get Mr. Stinky in there. And uh, yeah, get him right in there. I really don't want to... Greases and oils all over my hands. But I can kind of carry them by the tail a bit. There we go. Let that go. So I don't plug this thing in. I just let the, the natural cold freeze it up. I guess I don't have to bring that tail then. I'll only torture myself little bits at a time with this smell. Even being this cold, it still smells really bad. Uh, but anyway, I got a special thing today to do as a thank you to nature for providing such great uh, bounty for me. So, uh, a little tradition that I'm going to do. He's slipping. There. Because what happens is he's in the bag, but it's going to slip to the point that you're going to be on the tail and then you're... I mean, my gloves are going to stick really bad with that. And I've got to bring something else too. Got to grab a shovel. So we're going to find out how well this GoPro works in the cold, how long the battery lasts. And i got to save some of my battery when I get back so I can show you guys. Yeah, I'll take that one. Keep it nice and light. Keep it nice and light. I'm gonna find out. Uh, uh, when I get back, I'm gonna have to uh, deal with that otter, and it's cold. It's gonna be very cold on the hands. So I'm gonna get this trap back out. And my hunch is there's still one more massive otter. Now, there's no way I could take my hunting rifle with me today because it's just too. <laughs> you never have enough hands. But anyway, I'm going to get out there. I'll try to conserve my battery. This is going in for the wolf baits. And uh, look at all the ice everywhere. Very slippy. Very slippy. It was slippy last night too, coming home. So I'm going to try to get out an otter uh, per snare in the next couple of days. I ran out of some uh, of my... Uh, I got the chain, but I ran out of the linkages that I wanted to use for the chain for the snares and uh, I got to get that get, get that done now the snow is just starting to stay where you can kind of see where everything is now mind you the last past week's been mild because you know just you get these mild spells every couple of weeks and then now we're back into the deep freeze so it means trapping is about to become hard again but also means the furs are about to really thicken up so the work is gonna the work is gonna get hard anyway I was supposed to have that other dam trapped off by now but that didn't work out like that so so today is just a work day just get it all done uh, what I'm gonna do for the other otter which I don't know if it's male or female yet what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna uh, show you from where my GoPro always kind of either the battery dies or I run out of memory and I don't want to run out of memory today because my laptop is still pretty full. <laughs> I uploaded about 120 gigs yesterday. That took me four hours. Guys, it's a lot of work. <laughs> you know, like to film and, and, and do that. Thank God I got a head that I can plant my freaking GoPro on. Uh, tell me guys what you like if you like the view too. Uh, the next thing is yeah i'm just gonna basically when i skin the otter when i get back what i'm gonna do move a little bit fast here because i gotta get it's early i mean it's 10 o'clock in the morning so i got lots of light but uh, it's just i'm probably gonna be dealing with that otter anywhere from another 
two hours to four hours depending on how cold it is I got them in the basement right now thawing out like I say I just want to get that last little bit just to show you like skinning around the shoulders and the head and stuff like that that I wasn't able to get before so I'm gonna get this back there the shovels for burying the bait a little bit for the wolves and I'm gonna finish up those snares get my conna bear back up and uh, yeah yeah so I'm gonna be busy for the next four or five hours for sure trying to get all this stuff done I just got my big butcher and knife with me today so there we go so I'm gonna see if I can serve my battery and memory for the rest of the day.